Hello again and welcome back to Bantam Battles, war game, solo war games and RPGs with a small footprint. Robert Max here, this is log number 23. And if you remember our last episode, we did a character creation for micro sci-fi RPG. We created the character named Rex Ripley. And the story goes, you know, he actually had taken part in a previous uh, micro chapbook RPG sci-fi scenario called Bugship, where we thought he had died. He was left for dead. Apparently someone found him on that derelict bug ship, revived him, and dropped him off on some strange planet. Uh, he didn't know how he got there, but he woke up, you know, like out in a prairie uh, with a face sword as a melee weapon, a stun gun as his ranged weapon, some Trivium Gauntlets, a can of beer, and a granola bar. And that's where we left off. We had rolled up the character. He ended up being a pilot, uh, which gave him proficiency and dexterity. And he had leadership skills. And that's really all we knew about him. So Rex wakes up, like I said, on the in this prairie, on this strange planet. It's a class one planet. He's able to breathe. Uh, you know, so it's life-sustaining for him. And uh, you have to excuse me. Uh, for my congestion, I have a cold or possibly allergies. I'm not sure. I tested myself this morning for COVID. It was negative. I did have COVID back in the fall last year around Thanksgiving. Uh, this doesn't feel anything like it. But anyway, I apologize for my voice. Okay, so anyhow, where we picked up in the second session, Rex wakes up in this prairie, this class one planet, and he sees a downed starship in the near distance and beyond that some sort of settlement so he's heading towards the settlement but decides to stop at this downed starship now unbeknownst to him this starship is uh, occupied by a bunch of abominations and we rolled that up you know in the tables uh, for the game so he approaches this derelict starship this downed starship and we can see on the hull that it's named Intervention. Uh, we don't see any nationality. Uh, you know, it's not USS or, or anything like that. If it is, we don't. See, he can't see it. Uh, so he enters this starship. And we have, and as you can see, it's not a very long trip here. We only got three rooms. So he enters this starship. And this entry room appears to be some sort of maybe loading dock, so he's near the back of the ship. Uh, this room ended up having three doors. This one was uh, open, so he was able to go through there. And uh, he comes into this first room and encounters <laughs> right off the bat a giant acidic flesh cube, you know, that has... Uh, I think nine life points and you know even with his uh proficiency and dexterity i'll tell you what rex just didn't have any luck and you know just in any of these uh roll and write rpg style games you you gotta have some luck and uh he rarely got to conduct any ranged combat uh i had a lot of sixes which are automatic failures i had other roles because you know that uh giant acidic flesh cube i have to refer to the book for this uh, he has a dice modifier or a roll modifier of a plus one so you know he was adding one to all these rolls i didn't have it, it just didn't work out for rex he eventually did defeat uh the giant acidic flesh cube but it left him with hardly any life. He ate his granola bar to give him a few... Uh, you get the roll of 1d3, and he got three life points. Uh, three life points added to the few he had left. And he then entered into uh, the second room, which, had, which contained a mass of eyes. There were four of them, and each one of those had seven life points. Well, needless to say, Rex didn't survive. Uh... He died here in the second room, and uh, 
I think this time he's gone for good. I don't think we could resurrect him again. Uh, this game and, uh, you know, Noah Patterson, uh, it's no secret. He says, you know, it's a brutal game, and it is brutal. Uh, you need a lot of luck. I think the next time I play it, I'm going to use the easier rules, you know, where you get to, uh, oh, I guess you get uh, nine points to divide up a month. Uh, Amongst your uh, statistics, instead of seven, and I think I'm going to try that next time. So next time, sometime down the road, you know, we're going to hit this game again. I'm going to use the easier rules, and uh, Rex is gone, uh, but he has a sister named Roz, Roz Ripley. And uh, she's going to be in investigating to find out what happened to Rex. And she'll eventually end up on this planet. She'll find out how he got here. And she's going to go looking for him or see if she can find out any information. And if she can survive, you know, we'll continue uh, the adventures with her. So that's going to do it for this uh, recap. Uh, the resurrection of Rex Ripley was very short-lived. Um, he... He just took a beating. The uh, the flesh cube really laid a beating on him. And, you know, that's another thing. After defeating that flesh cube, he got one credit. That was what I rolled. I mean, the rolls just weren't coming in for me. But, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. So that's going to do it for Micro Sci-Fi RPG, The Resurrection of Rex Ripley. It was short-lived. Uh, it's still a fun game. I had a lot of fun setting up the character and thinking about what I was going to do later on. And maybe next time I'll have better luck. And we can get a little bit further than the first adventure. We'll see. Uh, coming down the road, I do have the Dawn of the Dead game. And the counters are now mounted. As you can see here, I just haven't cut them yet, but they are mounted. And we're going to get to that game coming up next. And also the, uh, the introduction of the BBAFL. The Bantam Battles American Football League, also known as the Baffle. Uh, I've named the teams and uh, named the coaches and GMs, and I'm going to set up the divisions and do like a league introduction in an upcoming video. But that's going to do it for this one. Until next time, take care.